What is up guys? Welcome back to the Utah Utes Dynasty. We're here today. The Utes taking on number 17 Texas in the Cowboy kickoff game. Here to start off the season for the Utes. And this Utes team's looking very good coming off the offseason. We did very well in recruiting. We got some good freshmen playing. And not a true freshman, but a redshirt freshman. Chris Carroll will be getting the start over Connor Manning as we get into this game. But Texas is looking really good. A lot of juniors and seniors. This team is one of the best in the country and projected to actually in the future make the playoff this season. So we've got a challenge ahead of ourselves, and we'll see if this youth's team can match up against one of the best teams in the Big 12 and even in the country. So let's get this one right underway here. So Texas will kick it deep. Wesley Johnson is back to return. The junior will take it from the middle of the end zone. No, he will just take a knee. Usually we don't see that. Chris Carroll out of Hayden, Indiana will be taking the field for the first time as a Ute. Here we go. So first play of the game goes to Dravion Young right up the middle. The senior takes that one for 10. So now second and it is Carroll. He's going to give this one to Adrian Anderson. And now Anderson goes up the middle and he's got a nice gain of 10 for himself. First and 10. Carroll gives this one right up the middle. Dravion Young, he's got a solid gain of 7. The running game looking strong here to start. Carroll, screen set up, dumps it off to Dravion Young. And his first pass completion goes for negative two yards. Now third and five. Carroll back to throw. Blitz comes, quickly throws to Matt Anderson. He's got him in a pickup of 18 over the middle. Second and five now. Carroll fakes, looking, throwing to his right. He's got Harrison Hanley. Great pass to the right to the corner. Now first and ten. It's a flip this time to Dravion Young, but he runs into his own blocker, and he's going to end up losing four on the play. So now third and 14. It's an option set up. Carroll flips it, and this is Raylan Singleton, the wide receiver. He's got it into the end zone, showing off that speed as we are on the board first, making it 7 to nothing. Now here we go. Gerard Hurd gives this one to Donald Catalan, a.k.a. Duke Catalan. So here we go. Hurd gives this one to Catalan once again. Cattle onto the outside. He gets stopped. Third and three coming up here for Texas. Heard back to throw. Looking. Screen set up. It's Cattle on. But Tonga is right there. And he's not going to let him go anywhere. So we get a three and out to start this game. Chris Carroll going deep here to start this possession. But it gets tipped away by Antoine Davis. Looking for Wesley Johnson. So now Carroll back to throw once again. Dumps this one off to Harrison Hanley. Hanley's got it but won't be enough. And will be forced to punt. First and 10. Heard back to throw. Looking for a man. Throwing. He's got one. Nearly intercepted that time. But Henry Allen makes the reception. Gets out of bounds. Second and 7. Heard. Play action. Throwing off his back foot. And it's on the ground. That was picked up by Rami Hamad. But luckily for them, they get it back. Now it's Heard back to throw. And he gets hit. And he gets down. That one was Corey McDonald on the sack. His first career sack. So now here we go. This one goes to Dravion Young towards the outside. Breaking a tackle. Getting all the way to the 40-yard line. Nice pickup that time by Young. And that's going to have this first quarter is going to end. Utah 7, Texas 0. This defense is looking mighty strong right now. So here we go. First and 10. This one, Adrian Anderson. He's going to take this one to the left and gets 3 on the play. Now a 3rd and 8 situation. Carroll back to throw. Looking for a man over the middle. Nearly intercepted by Javon Webb. But... It will be topped away. First and 10. Heard back to throw now for Texas after a punt. And that one is caught by Maurice Kinnery. And he's got it. Second and three. Heard gives this one to Catalan. There it goes Catalan. He's got it across the 40 quickly for here for Texas. Second and 10. Heard back to throw. Looking for a man. He's going to go. And he is hit. And he is sacked on the play. That one was Thor Katoa. He's doing it again. Third and 16. Heard to throw. Looking. Throwing deep over the middle. And that one is tipped away by Andre Godfrey. So nothing comes of it for Texas. Carroll now is going to keep it this time. There goes Chris Carroll. And Carroll's got the first down. The big guy showing off the speed. First and 10. Carroll back to throw. Looking for a man way back in the pocket. Dumps it off this time to McPherson. And he's got eight on the play. Third and six now. Carroll back to throw once again. Way back in the pocket, rolling out to his left, and he's just going to throw it away. And the Utes, once again, will be forced to punt by this Texas defense. First and 10 here for Texas. Heard back to throw, looking, 
Throwing to his left, he's got Kinnery. He's going to go, and he's going to be taken down at about the 45-yard line. First and 10. Heard back to throw once again. Looking. Throwing to his right. And he's got Oliver this time. First and 10 again here for Texas. This one goes to Catalan. Catalan gets stopped in the backfield. Thor Katoa doing most of the damage there. Back to throw once again is Hurd. Low coming from his left. He throws this one to the end zone. And it's intercepted. The true freshman, Jeff Henry, our top prospect in recruiting, comes up with his first interception as he's playing as our number one corner. A great play there by the true freshman. So now we get the ball after the Henry interception. Adrian Anderson taking this one right up the middle. Gain of 16. First and 10. Carroll back to throw. No, he's going to give this one to Anderson. Anderson bulldozing his way. He gets eight on the play. Second and two situation. Carroll is going to keep it himself. There goes Chris Carroll. He's got a block right there. And another block from Wesley Johnson. Carroll down the sideline. Into the end zone. It's a touchdown. But there's a flag on the play. And it seems to be clipping on Wesley Johnson. As you see here, he's got it. And he pushes him. Yeah, sounds about right. So play gets called back 45 seconds to go here in this first half pass there to McPherson his second catch of the game now Dravion Young to the outside he's got it but he stopped in the middle of the field second and 12 now third and 12 17 seconds to go Carroll looking for a man throwing he's got one and it's dropped by Isaiah Williams the true freshman cannot hold on so fourth and 12 we don't have the best kicker he can't make it we don't want to punt the ball with 13 seconds so we're going to go for it. Carroll back to throw over the middle. And it's in the hands of McPherson. But he gets it knocked away by the Texas defender. So now second and three. Texas. They're going to just try to do a Hail Mary. Throwing one deep. And this one is intercepted. McDonald. He's got a sack. And now he's got an interception on the day. And that is how this first half ends. This Utes defense is really looking strong right now. Should be 14 to nothing. But, you know, Chris Carroll got that run called back. It was a magnificent run. But we're playing really well right now. Jeff Henry, what an interception he had in the end zone. Absolutely huge. We're holding them to negative two rushing yards. That's absolutely insane with one of the best running backs in the country in Donald Catalan. So now Texas will take over. Heard. He's going to throw over the middle. This one's Kennery again. He's got it. 11 over the middle. First and 10. Heard once again back to throw looking for a man. He's got all day in the pocket. Throws this one nearly intercepted by Kevin Walker. But he knocks it down. Second and ten. Heard back to throw. Heard looking. He's going to try to run. But he gets taken down in the backfield by Thor Katoa. What a big game for Thor today. Heard now giving it to Catalan. Catalan hit. Sharif Shaw Jr. wraps him up and brings him down in the backfield. So they're forced to punt. Carroll now back to throw, dumping this one off to Dravion Young. There goes Young, and to the left, he's got a pickup of 16. Carroll once again back to throw, looking for a man. He throws an over the middle, and this one is caught by Wesley Johnson. Pickup of 23. First and 10. This one goes to Dravion Young to the outside. There goes Young. Young pushing his way for a first down. First and 10 coming up. This one, it's Carroll on the run. He's going to go right up the middle. Chris Carroll fighting his way down to the five-yard line. First and goal. Right up the middle with Adrian Anderson, and he's into the end zone. It's a five-yard scamper, and the Utes take over the lead now 14 to nothing, or extending the lead, I should say. Heard now to throw over the middle. It's Foreman, and Foreman's got the reception of 15. Second and seven. Back to throws Heard. Hurt throwing to his right, and that one is broken up by Thor Katoa. We're saying his name a lot today. Third and seven. Hurd once again to throw to his right, and he is hit, and he is taken down. Jeff Henry actually hurt on the play, though. Chris Carroll, he's going to roll to his right. Carroll way back there, throws it off of Harrison Hanley. Henry's actually out for the game with a shoulder injury. Could be bad for this Utah defense. So now Adrian Anderson, he's got it 13 up the middle. First and 10. Second and 7. Chris Carroll back to throw. He's got time in the pocket. Steps up. Throws. Now he's got Anderson. I was about to say Adrian, but it's Matt Anderson on the reception. First and 10. Carroll back to throw. He's in the pocket. Pressure comes. He gets hit as he throws. And now it will be third and 8 coming up for the Utes. Fake this time to Young. Rolling to his right. 
Set up bootleg. He's going to go. He's going to try to run this time with no one open. And he will be taken down on the play. So we're forced to punt again. First and 10. This one to Catalan. And he gets wrapped up in the backfield by Monte Zebra. Heard now is going to try to flip it this time. He's got Catalan. And Thor Katoa trying to bring him down. But he rolls over and reaches over. So that's how this third quarter will end. Defense still looking strong against the run. They've completed a few big passes. It's 14 to nothing. We still got the lead. And this offense just marched down the field for a great touchdown. So I'm really confident about how we can do and finish out this fourth quarter. Now Hurd in the backfield. He's going to give this one to Catalan. Catalan, he's got it. And he's across for a pickup of 11. First and 10. Hurd back to throw. Looking for a man. Pressure comes. He's in, he throws. He gets it off to Kinner. And he's got it. And he's going to get down 13 yards. First and 10. Heard back to throw. Looking for a man over the middle. Once again, it's Kinnery. But Thor Katoa blowing him up and making him drop the ball. Heard is now back to throw. Looking for a man. Moses tries to jump it, but he overshoots him. Andre Godfrey brings him down. And Lorenzo Joe makes the reception. Second and nine. Everett low. Just not letting Catalan go anywhere. Third and 11. Heard back to throw again. Pressure comes towards the end zone. Knocked away that time by Moses. Fourth and 11. They're going to go for it. They need to. Heard back to throw. Looking over the middle. And it gets hit and tipped away. Andre Godfrey delivering a gate hit. As that might have been pass interference. But eh, we'll never know. They didn't make the call. So we'll take it, I guess. Now we'll take over. Carroll, he's going to give this one. Travion Young to the outside. Breaks a tackle. Young breaking another. And then finally taken down after a six-yard pickup. Second and four. Carroll, he's going to go. He's going to run. Flips it to Adrian Anderson. There goes Anderson to the left. Adrian Anderson all the way across the 50. Big time pickup. Second and ten. Carroll. And this is a screen set up for McPherson. McPherson down the sideline. Pushed out of bounds. Great pickup there for McPherson. Now a second and eight situation. Adrian Anderson goes up the middle. He's going to go. He's shedding tacklers, and he's a yard shy of the first down. Now on third and one. Carroll. It's a draw set up. There goes Chris Carroll. He's got the first down. Pick up a five. First and goal. Here we go. Carroll fakes this one to Young. Rolling to his right. Throws, and it's Tukuafu. He's got the reception, but he'll be a yard shy. Now second and goal. Anderson right up the middle. He bulldozes his way into the end zone. Now this score extends to 21 to nothing. Two minutes to go here for Texas. Heard back to throw. Looking for a man. Throwing to his right. And that one is tipped away by Danny Allen. A great play. Second and 10. Heard back to throw once again. Looking for a man. He's going deep once again. But this one is caught. Allen with an insane catch. Now it's first and 10. Heard back to throw. He's got a wide open man. How did Jake Oliver get so open? Oh my goodness. And it was that we just called the wrong play. We had a zone low and a zone high, but we just couldn't get to the corner. This is a great play call by Texas. So now they're going to go for the onside kick with 1.45 to go. The kick. Harrison Hanley can't get it. And Texas is on it. Webb makes the reception. Or you could say, I don't know how you would say it, the recovery. Heard now back to throw. Looking over the middle. He's got Joe. And Joe's going to go. And he's got 17 over the middle. First and 10. Texas showing some life. Heard throwing wide open. Jake Oliver runs over a man and then gets out of bounds. First and goal now for Texas. Heard to throw. Looking for a man. He's got all day back there. He's going to go to his left. He's going to throw on the run. Nearly intercepted by Andre Godfrey. He tops it down. Heard now back to throw, looking for a man. He's going to go to his right, and he's got time. He throws, but he's hit as he throws, and he goes down to the ground. Third and goal, Heard. He's looking to throw. He does throw to the end zone, tipped away by Monte Seabrook. Nearly intercepted again. Fourth and goal, Heard to throw. He throws to his left. Kennery gets it, breaks two tackles, and then a couple youths run into each other. And then Thor Katoa brings him down, but it's too late. It's in the end zone, and they've got a touchdown. Now another onside kick. Can they get it? And Edmonds has this one, and he's just going to go down. And the youths are going to try to run out this clock. Second and three. We get the first down. Dravion Young finishes off this game. 
And the Utes luckily win this one. They had a 21-0 lead with two minutes to go, and they nearly blew it in the end. But luckily we had Adrian Anderson, who really stepped up today over Javion Young. Every time he got the ball, it seemed he got another 10 yards. So that was absolutely incredible. This Utes team absolutely looked fantastic. Chris Carroll really managed the offense very well. Didn't have... We didn't need him to make too many super plays. He had a great run that got called back because of a uh, block in the back, clipping penalty, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, our defense, wow, was that incredible. Our front seven, Thor Katoa, boy, was he in there a lot. Everett Lowe was in there a couple times, and we didn't see him as much as we usually do. Kevin Walker, we didn't really see much. But the secondary really stepped up. I mean, Jeff Henry, when he went down, they started throwing the ball. So, you know... <laughs> I, I'm really happy to see this defense play as well as it did. And, you know, if anyone who actually watched the game knows, the score does not resonate to how much we actually dominated this Texas team. who's projected to make the playoffs, so I don't know. We'll see you against BYU how we continue to play. I'll see you guys there. Have a great day, and goodbye.